Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. Man, did I, did I go out of my way to see this. <laughs> this is crazy. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Yep, I'm glad y'all stuck around. I went out of my way on gravel roads, which I hate going down, to see this. Boat hinge. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I expected this to be a little bit more grandeur. Is that a word? Grandeur? Grand. I expected this to be much more grand. It's what? One, two, three, four, five boats. I think there were more stones than that in Stonehenge. This is called Boat Hinge. But I'll give you links down below uh, on where to find this. If you decide, don't do it on a motorcycle. No, especially when you're pulling a trailer. It's dustier than hell. Anyway, let's go take a look at Boat Hinge. <laughs> Now I do know that this is next to the Katy Trail and if you keep going uh, west, I think it's west, uh, east, if you keep going east in the direction that I was going, uh, you'll run into Cooper Landing. It looks like a, uh, a campsite and an RV park. Uh, let's take a closer look at these boats. Got a stingray there. Look at that, stingray. Is that what that said? Oh no, that's not what it says. It says Sea Fury. You got a Sea Fury there. When I made my way down here, I expected something a little more grand. But I still think it's really cool and worth the out of my way to get to get to see these buried fiberglass boats shooting straight up in the sky. I didn't find anything mystical about these boats and the positions that they were buried. They say if you come here in the morning, the sunrise will cast a visual stimulating image worth seeing in person, which I didn't get to hang around for. The local expert historians insist that Boat Hinge appeared overnight the first day of spring, having sprouted from the earth or fallen from the skies. Others say that it was initially seen following the 100-year flood of 1993, and they don't know how it got here. Boat Hinge is located by the Missouri River at the mouth of the Little Bonnie Finn at Plowboy Bend near Cooper Landing. You can get there by pedaling on the Katy Trail between Rochelle Port and Jefferson City or by vehicle heading down south on Smith Hatchery Road. As usual, you can find more information at their website in the description below. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed a boat hinge here. This is like 30, 45 minutes out of my way just to find the boat. <laughs> the boats, the boats. I, think, I do think they should call it a boat ranch instead of hinge because it doesn't represent hinge at all to me. Except for that they're buried and poking straight up. You know, if you like these types of videos and you're not subscribed to me, click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell. You'll get email notifications that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. Howdy y'all. Man, did I go out of my way. All right, let's try this again.